welcome everyone now in the continuation of exercise 2.2 from polynomial question number 2 find p0 p1 p2 for each of the following polynomial so first question is uh, this one okay p y equals 2 y square minus y plus 1 first you have to find p0 so right here putting y equals to 0 y y equals 0 we need p0 you have to replace this y by 0 okay then you have to replace all y with the value of 0 why is this 0 because it is asked in the question p0 that's why okay so now you see p of 0 equals to 0 square minus 0 plus 1 it is 1 okay now putting next p1 is y equals to 1 putting y equals to 1 so p of 1 equals to uh, it is y by 1 1 is 5 minus 1 plus 1 1 minus 1 plus 1 this to one is equals to 1 now putting y equals to 2 so p of 2 is equals to you have 2 square minus 2 plus 1 2 square is 4 4 minus 2 plus 1 4 minus 2 2 2 plus 1 3 okay in this way you can solve this question now you write question number 4 2 question number 4 okay uh, 2 2 and 2 3 are homework okay 2 question number 4 2 question number 4 what is given here uh, p of x p of x is equals to x minus 1 into x plus 1 okay so now here also p0 means putting here x equals to 0 okay because we have to replace this x by 0 that's why x equals 0 so all the values of x will be uh, will be replaced by 0 now p of 0 is equals to 0 minus 1 0 plus 1 it means that 0 minus 1 minus 1 is 1 so minus 1 is the answer putting x equals to 1 now p of 1 so it is 1 minus 1 into 1 plus 1 so 0 into 2 is equals to 0 putting x equals to now next 2 so p of 2 same way you replace this x by 2 so 2 minus 1 into 2 plus 1 it is 2 minus 1 1 2 plus 1 3 is equals to 3 so in this way we have to solve this type of question okay now next question number three see question number three verify whether the following are zeros of a polynomials okay indicated against them now important zeros of a polynomials what do you mean by zeros of a polynomials okay now i will explain you by giving a simple example here zeros of a polynomial Suppose p of x is a polynomial and its value is suppose x plus 5. Okay, now you have to find the zeros of these polynomials. Now, zeros of the polynomial, since here polynomials is in variable of x, so here it is at zero, 0 of the polynomials. So, how to find zeros of the polynomial? See, actually, 0 of the polynomials means the value of the variable. So, here variable is x. So, value of the variable for which the value of the polynomials is 0. Understand? How this value of the polynomials will come 0? You imagine, you think by yourself, put x equals to minus 5. Then see what will come? See, minus 5 plus 5 equals to 0. Okay? So, this is p of minus 5 equals to p of minus 5 equals to 0. So, it means that for the value of x equals to minus 5 the value of these polynomials is 0 that's why minus 5 is 0 of these polynomials okay suppose uh, p of x is a polynomial okay and um, 
polynomials in variable like suppose a x square plus b x plus c okay suppose now if f equals to suppose k will give you p of k is equals to 0 okay then any polynomials is an example p of k equals to 0 then this k is called 0 of these polynomials okay so zeros are the value of the variable at which the values of the polynomials is 0 okay so zeros or roots sometimes it is also called roots of a polynomial okay now you see uh, question number 31 you just write question number 31 3 1 see here it is given p of x given p of x is equals to uh, 3x plus 1 and you have to show that x equals to minus 1 by 3 is 0 or not so you have to put the value of x equals to minus 1 by 3 if value of the polynomial will come 0 then it is the zeros of the polynomials okay so here putting this x equals to minus 1 by 3 in p of x okay let's see what will come p of minus 1 by 3 is equals to 3 into minus 1 by 3 plus 1 so this two will cut so minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0 yes it is coming when x equals to minus 1 by 3 the value of p of x polynomials equals to 0 then yes a minus 1 by 3 is a 0 of p of x finish okay in this way you can solve now see uh, question number 2 also into what is given given p of x equals to here i given okay given p of x equals to 5x minus pi so putting x equals to 4 by 5 now you see p of 4 by 5 i am replacing the value of x with 4 by 5 so 5 into 4 by 5 minus pi so 5 5 will cut so 4 minus pi which is not equals to 0 okay it means that uh, 4 by 5 is not a 0 of p of x finish okay in this way you can solve now write question number 6 also Question number 6. What is there? P of x is equals to given L x plus m, where x equals to minus m by L. Same way we will prove this is 0 or not. Putting x equals to minus m by L in P of x. Now you replace all x by minus l by n. Therefore, p of minus m by l is equals to n into minus m by l plus m. This to one. So minus m plus m equals to zero. It means yes, minus m by l is a zero of a polynomial p of x in this way we can solve all this question okay so you try this okay uh, i will do question number seven also okay this is six because in question number seven two values are given number seven so given values uh, P of x is equals to x square minus 1 comma x equals to because this is quadratic so it has two zeros okay two degree polynomial so it has two zeros so it is minus 1 by root 3 another is 2 by root 3 so first you see putting 
x equals to minus 1 by root 3 in p of x okay now re replace all x by 1 by minus 1 by root 3 p of minus 1 by root 3 okay is equals to minus 1 by root 3 whole square okay my oh sorry sorry this is 3 so this is 3 okay means that 3 into minus 1 by root 3 so minus 1 so this is 3 minus 1 square means it will become plus 1 square is 1 root 3 square is 3 minus 1 so this two will go on so 1 minus 1 equals to 0 now putting x equals to 2 by 3 in p of x okay so p of 2 by 3 is equals to 3 into 2 by root 3 of the square minus 1 so 3 into uh, this 4 by 3 minus 1 1 4 minus 3 3 which is not equals to 0 so here here minus 1 by root 3 is a 0 but 2 by root 3 is not a 0 of p of x ok because it is coming here this 3 so which is not equal to 0 ok in this way you can solve ok so now question number 4 3 remaining you can do as homework same way now question number 4 very simple find the 0 of the each of the following coordinates now it's, it's very simple easiest ok it is the easiest question so p of x is equals to it is x plus 5 so you, you have to find your zeros so how to do see simple so p of x equals to 0 you have to take it means that p of x equals to x plus 5 so x plus 5 equals to 0 so x equals to minus 5 this is the 0 of the polynomial ok now you see uh, question number 5 in 5 it is given p of x is equals to 3x therefore same way p of x equals to 0 because they have asked find the zeros of the polynomial then we have to take the value of this polynomial equals to 0 so p of x equals to 0 so p of x equals to 3x is equals to 0 so x equals to 0 by 3 it is 0 ok there are many questions now question number 7 also see 7 what is given in question number 7 it is given p of x is equals to p of x equals to cx plus d and here it is given c is not equal to 0 because uh, x cannot be 0 ok this is cannot be equal to 0 is given in the question same way p of x <coughs> equals to 0 p of x means cx plus d equals to 0 so cx equals to minus d so x equals to minus d by c this is the answer okay so in this way you can solve this type of question okay thank you very much and the remaining all are homework from exercise 2.2 okay